hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few applications that I have discovered in the Play Store that I currently am enjoying that I want to share with all of you. So to kick things off, I'm going to open up this folder and I'm going to begin with Themer. So with Themer, what you get is the option to browse a few themes. This is currently in beta, but it works fairly well and I'm enjoying it. You get to click on any of these themes here and choose it to run on your Android device. So instead of having to theme it and add the widgets and everything and customize it the way you want it to look, you can just simply click on one of these. So let me find one to kind of play with. Uh, let's go for this one. So if I were to click on that, once it loads up, you have the option to preview it by swiping left or right to see how every home screen looks on this particular theme. And from here, you can then select if you want to favorite it in case you don't want to download it at the current moment. But if you do want to download it, then you can select apply. Then from there, the theme will load on your home screen and pretty much you're good to go. So you can customize the widgets and the icons here that are on the theme if you want to make it look more um, kind of how the way you would want it to look. But other than that, it's really a click and go application. So I really like this one, especially because one of the main features of Android is the option to customize your device. And sometimes you don't want to go through making the widgets and everything and you rather would just click and apply. So Themer is definitely a great application to get these beautiful custom themes with these gorgeous widgets to make your device look that much better. Next up we have Zedge. Now with Zedge you have the option to browse a few categories such as wallpapers, live wallpapers, ringtones, notifications, and games that you may want to download. So I'm going to begin by selecting wallpapers. If you don't know I am a wallpaper fanatic. I love wallpapers. Um, just something about them really sets off the device to me. And all of the wallpapers up here are very high quality pictures. So say for instance, I liked this particular wallpaper here. What I could do is download it here for free or I could share it, favorite it or rate it. Now a good multitask switcher if you're in the market for one is Pi Control. Because with Pi Control, you can just simply come over to the side of your screen that you designate and pull up a quick launcher to quickly jump into another application. So to activate it, you can choose what side of the screen or area of your screen that you want to pull up this quick launcher. Mine is currently set to the left side. So if I hold my finger over here and slide on, I now have these icons here that I've placed that I can quickly jump into. So if I wanted to, for instance, go into the Play Store, I hold my finger over that. It then pulls up the content that I selected. So you do have a few options with Pi Control, like I mentioned before, where you can customize the size of the Pi, where it's located, and all the applications that um, are retrieved within it as well. So next up, I have Wave Control. Now with Wave Control, this brings over features that you typically find in Samsung devices where you can activate certain actions by simply waving your hand in front of the phone. So you have a few settings here, such as when you want the controls to be activated, if you wanted to do it when the screen's off or when the screen's on and different things like that. You also have the option to better customize it to respond with your hand. Um, there's a setup process prior to you launching this, but it does have to run in the background. So if the application has not been launched, then this will not work. But basically, it allows you to pause, play or even skip to the next song by simply waving your hand in front of the phone. Now, the only thing I don't like about wave control is that sometimes it does not respond the way that I want it to, meaning it's not as responsive as it should be. Sometimes it will not detect that my hands over it. It's like you have to do it just right. So I would keep that in mind if you're going to download this. But overall, it's still fairly decent. Now, the next application I want to get into is Smooth Sync Calendar, because this will allow you, especially if you're moving over from iPhone to Android, it'll let you sync up your iCloud account so that your iCloud calendars and things like that will come over to your Android device now. Personally, being so deep within the Apple ecosystem, where pretty much I have all Apple devices, switching over to the Android did cause a bit of a hiccup there. And I had 
lots of important calendars that were synced in iCloud that I wanted up here. So with this application, I was able to bring them over. I think it was maybe about a dollar or two dollars. But for me, it was worth the investment because now I have my iCloud calendars on my Android device. So with it, you can select to add your account and then you're just simply going to go to your iPhone, find out what your iCloud email address is that all of your calendars are linked up to and add them through this application. Next up, we have Music Download Paradise Pro. Now, this will let you search for songs and download them for free. So I'm going to search for an artist. So I'm going to search for, let's put in Beyonce. Oh, if I can spell it right. And I'm going to select search. And it took a little while to pull up these search results, but nonetheless, it finds them and you can tap on a song and you can listen to it to preview it to see if it's the song that you think it is, or you can download it and it will begin to download. And from here, it'll just go into your music library and you have some free music without having to use any other sources to do so. In addition to that, another one that I'm currently enjoying is Easy Uninstaller. Now, this particular one will let you quickly uninstall apps that you have downloaded. So you don't have to go to the app and uninstall it. You can just go through here and check off the ones you want to remove and then select the uninstall option at the bottom. This is a nice way to kind of get a feel for how much storage space you have and how much you've used as well as how many applications you have on your device. You can also search for applications that you have on your device in case you don't see one that you feel that you have up here. So you can go ahead and remove that one as well. Coming in next, we have multi-picture live wallpaper. Now this is currently what I'm running on my device to have a different wallpaper on every screen. So to set it up, what you have to do is add the number of screens that you have by selecting add individual settings, and that will let you add a screen to customize on your device. Then from there, you would tap on the screen and then select picture source and choose what picture you want for it. You also have a few other options within in here that you can customize and I'll let you explore that in case you decide to download it but these are just a few here so how it will look in the end if you choose to use it is on the first screen I have this wallpaper and on my next screen I have that wallpaper and then on my next screen I have that wallpaper and so forth and so on so you can get a different picture on every page and that's really it that I wanted to share with you um, I will be doing more videos like this I'm not going to dive all the way into a particular application, but more so breeze through them so you can download these, explore them and enjoy them as well. But that does sum everything up. Hopefully all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any recommendations or things you'd like to see, drop that down in the description box below. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.